Describing some sort of path to me. So what I hear is a path, a method. Yes, it's it's kind of path, 
and the method, yeah. It's <laughs> already again in the circle, yeah. Mm. Any, any sort of action is, I mean, nobody takes action, but people believe yeah, they yeah, can. Yeah. But even the idea of action is, is the circle. Mm, the idea of action, yeah, okay. And nevertheless, you, you use readiness, you use something like readiness. Or there can be a sense in the seeker that there must be something other than action. Yeah. For God's sake, I've been doing this for years, surely there's something else. Yeah. Mm. That's all. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. An openness to another possibility. In a way, it's the openness to the possibility that there's no possibility. Completely giving up. Yeah, but there isn't anyone that can give up. You know, people say to me, oh, well, I'll just wait, but there isn't anyone that can wait. There's nothing to wait for. I'll give up. There isn't anyone that can give up. Not, I'll give up, it means completely giving up. Yeah, but there isn't anything to give up. <laughs> give, give up is a sort of a, another action. You know. There's nothing to give up because what you long for has never gone away. So why would you have to give anything up? It's like saying you, you'd give up living, you know. <laughs> so, oh. <laughs> um, before the break, I was just sitting there and I was having pain in my neck and uh, all kinds of things. And then suddenly there was like um, uh, the thoughts. It's just not my thought in the head, or it's just mm. over here somewhere. And uh, it's not the pain in my neck, but it's pain and, and I don't know where. Yeah. And it's not my body, but it's it's like it's not so so tight or something. But it's just what's happening. So it was like, oh my God, all my life just staying with my thoughts or my pain or my... Mm. And then suddenly it's... Like a bit, um, yeah, a let go. It's yeah, no, it's not a let go. It's more like, um, what did I do? Right. Because it's 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 like a misunderstanding. Oh, yes, so it's it's totally misunderstanding. misunderstanding yeah. But there's something there that should stay with its emotions yeah. or its yeah. pain and honor its anger and all that crap, yeah. you know. And so it's a complete misconception based. The, the beginning of the misconception is that there's someone that can even do it. Yeah. That's the beginning of it. That there's even someone that can choose to stay with their pain in their neck is misconceived. Yeah. And the idea then that if they stay with their pain in their neck, it will suddenly dissipate or, or yeah. then, is another yeah. part of the dream. Yeah. Um, just out of curiosity, when there is or if there is no help and even there is no one there, why would people seek private talks with you during the residential? <laughs> I don't even know. private, is I it? don't know. <laughs> but, but that seems to happen. But the other thing about that is that it doesn't matter anyway because what happens there happens here. And that is that they get no answers. And may, somebody may want to come and talk to me in one to one place. And it in fairness to talk about something that they're shy about or they don't want to share, that's fine. But they won't get an answer. There is no answer. They just won't get an answer. So it's, a, it's the same thing as this, just more, uh, there's just only two people left. <laughs> Apparently. <coughs> People do phone me up. I say on my website, it says you can just phone me up. Mm -hmm. 
it's, it's amazing how few people do actually. They do, but not many. But that's the same thing again. They're not going to get anything. So maybe that's why people never find anything. <laughs> what you get from Christian Murphy yeah. and Nosho. You won't get that here, of course. Yeah, okay, I realize that. <laughs> but then <coughs> it appears um, all the time that there is somebody there watching that. No, hold on, that's like what you there believe is the screen, screen. There's the screen and I can watch this screen, I can watch this flowers, I can watch you. There is somebody here watching that. And, okay. <laughs> Oh, my I I say something now. <laughs> You're it's, a <laughs> it's a story. It's part of the story of the watcher. The watcher, the witness, yeah. the observer, that which is conscious of, is a story. Mm -hmm. Watching the flowers, the hearing the noise, is a, hearing the sound is a story. Hearing one, the sound two. One, two. It's a very attractive one because it's the basis of self inquiry and all of that, which is is very very married to uh, detachment. Because if you develop your, this is the theory. They nobody can, but the theory is that if you develop self inquiry, um, you know, looking and watching and da da da, and who is it that's drinking this tea or what you actually develop is a sort of detachment. It comes out of mm. the whole disassociation with life. It's a very masculine sort of teaching <coughs> to do with detachment and watching, being in a power of detachment. And you can develop a very powerful form of detachment. And then there are even different levels of detachment. They're called enlightenment. <coughs> because they feel like enlightenment. Because there's a sort of, a sort of freedom about being detached. You, you're in this ivory tower and life is happening and you're watching it from your tower. It's a story. But, but are they pointers? No, they, no, they, they are pointers for it. There isn't the everything emptiness, everything in a point is a pointer and nothing is. But the whole idea that there's mm -hmm. someone who can um, can choose to self inquire is an illusion. Totally, and, it, and, and all you're doing. Is keeping people in a circle. Yes. All that, that whole idea, the concept that there is action that can be taken to move somewhere is simply a story. It just goes on maintaining a dream. So if you want to call it a pointer, it's a pointer away from. Not <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So when uh, when uh, Osho is telling this story, he told, uh, can be there really? Uh, could be there be a liberation if you can? Oh, sorry. If if can oh. there be liberation for oh, Osho okay. if he uh, tells this Not story? Not tells the story, but liberation can happen anywhere, even with Andrew Cohen. <laughs> <laughs> But, 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 do you, but, but do you tell the stories after this? Oh no, of course not. No, no. no. When, there, when there is no one, there's no story to tell. Yeah. But when, when I say there can be liberation, of course, in a way, in a sense, of course, there is no such thing as liberation. It doesn't happen. But, of course, it requires nothing for it to seem to happen. 
The collapse of the individual requires absolutely nothing because the individual is an illusion anyway. Yeah. So it, it can happen anywhere at any time, sure. but not because of anything, but despite everything. Yes. Despite everything. Yeah. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no the, the question was, um, if if it if you have this uh, uh, breakdown of, of this me uh, collapse of it, it's a collapse. Uh, will you go on tell stories about oh, you, liberation? You tell stories, but you would there wouldn't be anything that would tell someone else that they can find enlightenment. Because okay. because let's be clear about not because it's wrong to tell them, but they can find, but okay. because there is no one that is recognised. In liberation, it is obviously apparent that there is no one. Okay. So how would you then tell him to go and get in line? Because there isn't anyone there to tell him to go and get in line. So it ne never arises anymore. The whole, uh, the whole um, basis of teaching simply collapses with the teacher, with you know, with, yeah. with the yeah. person. Okay. There isn't anyone. I mean, some people say that, the, that some other teachers say, or other people say, or oh, Tony Parsons attacks teachers. <laughs> there there's never has been any any attack on a teacher because there is no teacher. There, there's, because the, the construct of the person is, is, is illusory, then there is no one that's ever attacked and no one that's ever helped. Right? But teachings, you know, the, uh, the story teaching, the teaching of becoming, would be exposed from this, from this, it seems to arise, I've noticed. <laughs> um, can you say something about the uh, um, process of maturation or destiny? It's a story. <laughs> Maturation is, is something that seems to happen in the story. You mature towards more and more confusion. What was the other thing? Destiny. Oh no, destiny is the idea that there is a, a, is a future. Basically, it's that. So it's just sitting down happening. There's no, there's no thinking process going on. No, there's nothing that thinks I will sit down or get up or say this, these words. There just is <coughs> that. These words are just happening. But this communication is, is happening out of no thing. It's not, it's got nothing to do with this mind thing here. It doesn't come out of the mind. It just comes out. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Really? Yeah. Um, on the other hand, of course, the, the thinking can arise. Yeah. Thinking does arise. Yeah. Like this. It okay. just comes out, like all thinking, comes out of nothing, for, well, arises, and because it can't find anybody to talk to, it falls back. <laughs> <laughs>
Before break, you said um, there's something happening beyond the words. What is it? <laughs> it's again, you can't. It can't be described. Being is all there is, and <clears throat> whether the words are being asked or not, there is only being. There is only boundlessness in the sense, the energy of boundlessness within the energy of boundlessness apparently arises the energy of contraction. <laughs> freedom wouldn't be freedom if it couldn't also um, enclose or embrace <coughs> limitation. So <clears throat> uh, boundlessness apparently arises within, or, sorry, the contraction apparently arises within boundlessness. And uh, what's going on here is the possibility of the openness that that contraction can simply dissolve into the boundlessness. So that happens regardless of anything that's said or not said, or can happen. But it could happen anytime, anywhere. Oh, anywhere at all, absolutely. But in a sense, when, when there's, first of all, initially an openness for another possibility, and when uh, often what comes with that is the possibility of um, something resonating with this. Not the, per, not the seeker, of course, the seeker can't resonate with this in any way at all. But the resonation, a resonance can arise. So that can be quite powerful in this sort of situation. The so seeker is bored. The seeker is boring. Bored. Bored. From boring. 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 Okay. Yes. <laughs> For the mind, this message is really boring anyway. For the seeker's mind, the seeking mind doesn't want this. The last thing the seeker wants is to be told that enlightenment is sitting on a chair. You know, what it really wants is that you know, enlightenment is where we all know it. I know what my idea of enlightenment was. And it, Certainly not sitting on a chair. It was to do with lots of blonde information. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, for the for the seeker or the Masiki man, this is boring. So when it happened to you, well, it didn't. Yeah, but yeah. Oh, <laughs> to this seeker, there was silence. Were you silent? No. Was there a checking happening no. in your mind? Because no, no, the, the just girls say there you need to be silent, you need to get the mind well, out of the way we before this can happen. Do you want to go on discussing all this nonsense? So I can give you a whole list we can talk about if we want to. No, basically all that happens is the collapse of that which is separate and all that's left is what is. It's very ordinary. Yeah. Because they have nothing to do with silence, stillness, or any of that. Mm -hmm. Silence is a state, stillness is a state that can be experienced by the seeker. It has nothing to do with liberation. Mm -hmm. It's a state that comes and goes like everything else. 
um, uh, when the when the liber, when the, the pound seeker collapses, what is left is is immeasurable. It, it can't be described. It is absolutely amazing and absolutely ordinary. What's amazing about it is that it's ordinary. That's one of the things a lot of people say to me when this happens. It's so amazing, this, because the thing that's now is here has always been here. It's always been this. It's, you know, but now suddenly, everything is just... <sighs> I don't all say that, but... <laughs> oh, no, well, you won't, but you won't get it. Don't hope, because it won't happen to you. Yeah. <laughs> there is no hope. 